I'm Virginia McGathy here on the floor at the CME Group reporting on the grain market. Today the soybeans really firmed up. The futures are beginning to show a little bit of an uptrend, you know, for the short term anyway. So uh, the market has been really under a lot of pressure uh, since early December. And it's because of, you know, big crop, big supplies, weak exports, a strong South American crop in the ground. That's going well. The only thing that was really holding the market up was a little bit of inclement weather in South America. That has changed and that really put all the pressure on the market. Now that, that we're saying that it was the end of the year, everyone was taking, uh, taking profits and what have you, the market really got oversold. And now it looks like we found a little bit of buying and some support. So the market really got a little bit of a lift. Now we're going to be in the winter weather market for the next couple of months before we can really get the soybeans in the ground for starting the 2018 crop. I realize it's early to say that because we are in January, but that's what we're going to be looking at next. We'll be watching the U.S. dollar index and of course the stock market making record uh, strides every day and it's really pulling all of the money, the fund managers, it's really difficult for them to take any of the money out of the stock market yet while it's still soaring. So uh, the market has been a little bit weak as, a, as far as participants go, but uh, as uh, the market continues to move, I think that we're going to get a lot, a lot more uh, traders to participate in our markets. Corn was a little bit higher. The futures really broke out to the upside. Finally, we had been consolidating for quite a while now, but traders seem to be seeing that prices are a little bit better than we had expected. And we got back to where we started on January 2nd. That really looks uh, pretty good for corn, uh, seeing that a lot of the fundamental news is really uh, bearish at this point right now. But it looks like the traders have shaken that off and kind of given that a little bit more of a shot in the arm and kind of something that we were looking at because the market really jumped up uh, pretty well today. Uh, wheat also rebounded. The markets were really climbed back to take back yesterday's losses, but the winter wheat is really holding its own. Uh, but, you know, it's very vulnerable to uh, um, perhaps a sell-off. We haven't, we're not really that close to testing our lows right now, but we have to watch it. It seems that uh, there has been some better weather, and if the weather continues to um, you know, just look a little bit better across the country, that could definitely put some pressure back on that wheat market. But right now, it was uh, firming back up somewhat, and so they're, they're watching it closely. We're expecting that there's going to be a little bit more choppy market as uh, the next few days come. And certainly, we're not going to be looking for any kind of information until we get the uh, crop report that comes next month, so it's still a couple of weeks away. That's all from the floor at the CME Group. Here in Chicago, I'm Virginia McGathy.